Welcome to Bionic Tutor, solution of some important question from Gymnosperm for NEAT. Question number one, Gymnosperms are characterized by here, the naked seeds, because gymnosperm do not produce ovary and that's why seeds are exposed. So they are called naked seeded plants. Question number two, Identify the incorrect statement with regard to the gymnosperm. Number one, in gymnosperms, ovule remain exposed before and after fertilization. True. Number two, the giant redwood tree sequoia is the tallest gymnosperm tree. This is true. Number three, gymnosperms are homosporous. This is wrong because gymnosperms are heterosporous and they produce two different types of spores, the small microspores and large megaspores. So the incorrect statement is number three. Number four, leaves in gymnosperms are well adapted to withstand extreme environmental condition, true. Question number three, conifers are adapted to tolerate extreme of environmental condition because of their thick cuticles. Question number four, which of the following gymnosperms have coralloid root associated with nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria? This is the cycas. Cycas has two different types of root, normal tap roots which is branched and they also have the coralloid roots, coralloid roots that grow above the ground. So they are apogeotropic and they contain cyanobacteria. And through the cyanobacteria by symbiotic way, they fix atmospheric nitrogen so there is a symbiotic nitrogen fixation is found in cycas. Question number five, which one is not a feature of cycas? Unbranched stem, this is a feature of cycas. Pinnate leaves, this is a feature of cycas because the leaves are pinnately compound in uh, cycas. Number three, male and female cones may be born on different tree. This is also the feature of cycas because in the uh, cycas, the trees are uh, male and female, they are diocesous. So male plant bear the male cone and female plant bear megasporophylls that do not form cone of course. And number four, Archegonia is absent. This is not correct. This is not the character of cycas because in gymnosperm, archegonia is present and within the archegonia, egg or the female gamete is developed. Archegonia developed within the female gametophyte and female gametophyte within the ovule. So the answer is option number four. Question number six, in gymnosperm, microspores develop into a male gametophyte generation, which is highly reduced and confined to only a limited number of cells. This is true and this highly reduced male gametophyte is known as the pollen grain. Pollen grain or they are also known as microspores. Next question number seven, in gymnosperm, the multicellular female gametophyte is written within the megasporangium. This megasporangium is also known as ovule. Question number eight, consider the following statement regarding gymnosperms and choose the correct option. One, in gymnosperm, the male and female gametophyte have an independent existence. Here, this is wrong because female gametophyte in gymnosperm and angiosperms are not independent. They don't have free 
independent life. Number two, the multicellular female gametophyte is retained within the megasporangium or the ovule. This is true. Number three, the gymnosperms are heterosporous. It is true. So the options is the number four, which is straight that two and three are true, but one is false. Question number nine, which of the following are correct for gymnosperms? A, they have adventitious root system. This is not true. They have tap root system. B, the leaves in gymnosperm can withstand extremes of temperature, humidity, and wind. This is true. The gymnosperm exhibit gyrophytic character. C, microspores are produced in microsporangia. This is correct. D, they include medium or tall sized trees and shrubs. This is true. Most of the gymnosperms are tree. There are some shrubs and a very few are herbaceous. Answer is option number three. Question number 10, which of the following is are correct for gymnosperm? A, they are heterosporous. This is true. B, they are the first vascular plant. No, they are not the first vascular plant. First vascular plant is pteridophyte. C, they possess fruits. This is wrong. They do not possess fruit because they do not produce ovary. D, they require water for fertilization. This is not true. Water is, they are not dependent on the water for the transfer of the male gamete to the female gamete. In a state that they have tube-like pollen tubes are developed, so the reproduction is known as siphonogamous. So the correct one is only A. Thank you. Subscribe, comment, and share the channel.